Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, we're doing something a little different today. We're gonna do some modular engine stuff and we're gonna do it as simple as we can for you guys. So this is like a basic tutorial to kind of just get you into modular engines, nothing super fancy. Uh, and then you can go from there doing all the kind of things that you need to do with it. So we're just gonna do some simple stuff today, get this thing started up, show you the basics of it and yeah, get you into the modular engine world. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into the workbench. Okay, first we're actually gonna need to type in modular engine. Mod modular, and we're gonna need a crankshaft. Crankshaft, crankshaft, crankshaft. Uh, one, two, and three, four. I think is what we're gonna do today. I think we're gonna do a 12 cylinder, um, just for the purposes of this example. Uh, so let's see, next we're gonna get some engine cylinders. Boop, 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 and boop. Uh, there we go. Simple enough. All right, now in order for these to share, uh, right now these are connected, these are connected, and these are connected, but they're not connected to each other. So we're gonna have to add some pipes to actually connect these guys up. Uh, so we're just gonna grab a couple uh, engine manifolds and simple enough, oh. Actually, all we need is just these guys here. We don't need this. These are all now connected. Uh, but if you wanted to add some more visuals to it, you could actually add some more of these to it. Simple enough, there we go. Uh, we'll do... We'll just do all these uh, and we'll delete them as we don't need them. Because I think we'll need at least one right here for exhaust. Yep, uh, so we'll do, let's, see, let's do this. There we go, they're all connected. Now we've got the base of our engine. Simple enough, yep. All right, cool. Uh, so let's go for, let's start here. Uh, let's get some air. Uh, simple enough, we'll slap that on the back there. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a, you know what, air scoops. Uh, we're building a nice little engine here. Let's go ahead and put an air scoop on it. There we go. Nicely done. All right. Back to our modular engine parts. Uh, we've just done air, so let's go ahead and do exhaust. Uh, there we go. Uh, we'll need an exhaust pipe on that. You know what, let's go ahead and get a cat. Let's go ahead and put a cat on here so it's not smoking so bad as we're doing testing. Come on. There we go. And then we'll get our exhaust. Right, there we go, perfect. Uh, let's grab ourselves back to our modular engines. Uh, we can get a clutch. We can put our clutch right there onto our crankshaft. That works really good. Uh, let's bounce back around to this side here and we're going to need an engine belt drive. Now the uh, vanilla engines, they have their water pump and starter built into it. Uh, this does not, so we're gonna need to put all this into it uh, as well as an alternator, which is also our generators. So we're gonna slap a we're slap an alternator on there, uh, easy enough. Uh, where is we're gonna get an engine starter? There we go, and we're gonna need a we're gonna need a pump for our coolant. Uh, let's get that underneath, like so. Perfect. There we go, just like that. Now we've got all that up front. Uh, that works quite nice. Uh, we're gonna need to connect up our fluid here. Uh, hmm. Let's do it like this. Let's go get ourselves some pipes. All right, we'll do one like that. Let's get ourselves a tank. Uh, I think if we do like this, this will give us a little bit of extra oomph for our coolant. Uh, we'll stick that there. Let's make sure we get it off of diesel. We'll put that on fresh water. Now, I think if we grab our pipes, we can come back and actually build this around. So we'll do like that. And we'll do like that. Ooh, perfect, perfect. Then we can grab back to our module engines. We can get the uh, the coolant manifold, which we need to actually push coolant into this system here. And then what we could do is we can get a straight pipe. And, and look, this is perfect. Perfect for our radiator. Radiators, radiators. You know, let's put a nice radiator on here. Put a fan. Look at that, perfect. It's, it's looking like an engine. It's really looking like an engine. Uh, we need a battery. Uh, we can shove the battery right in here. Come on, there we go. Rotate it into there. And that is actually looking pretty sweet, I might add. Uh, let's see, we do have room here. Let's go back to our modular engine parts. Uh, what do we have left that we could put in here? I think we've done everything possible. Uh, temperature sensor, uh, we can slap him right there. That fills in that space. And now we've got a nice little two by three here. 
which is going to be perfect for our microcontroller to control this. And it's also going to look at, like a nice little oil pan that goes under here. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's jump into our microcontrollers and start building a microcontroller for this. And then, and then we'll crank it up and see how it goes. All right, new microcontroller. Uh, let's go ahead and make this a little bit longer. Uh, first node we're going to need is we're going to need our throttle in. We're going to do that throttle. Simple enough. Uh, and then it's going to output to a number as well, which is going to be our fuel. We're going to add another number here. Uh, this is going to be an output. Uh, we're going to call this fuel pump and alternator. Fuel pump slash. Got to learn how to spell today. Fuel pump and alternator. Spread that out. Uh, we also need a input for the clutch. And we need an output number for our clutch. And I think that is all we're going to need here. So let's jump over here into our logic. Let's spread some stuff out here. Okay. Uh, simple, simple, simple enough here. Okay. We're going to need our throttle and we're going to need our fuel here. So let's get up all that up top. We don't need any of this right now. Uh, that's just going to make our life a little simpler. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to grab ourselves a divide block. Go ahead and hook it up into our fuel. Take our throttle. Uh, we're going to hook that into the A. Uh, we're going to come in here and we're going to grab ourselves a property number. Uh, this will allow us to change it in the sidebar rather than coming all the way into this. But generally, we're going to want to divide this by two. Uh, you might want to tweak this number based on how your engine's running. Uh, generally, I see anywhere from two to 2.14 being the best numbers for these modular engines, but we're gonna start out with two just to start things off, uh, and then we can tweak from there if we need to. Uh, so that's all set up, that's good to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab our clutch. Uh, we're gonna grab our fuel pump, an alternator, and then our clutch. And this is just to kind of send the signal through so we don't have to have other logic blocks sitting on our engine. And this just makes it nice and clean. Uh, so what we're gonna need to do is grab ourselves a number switch box. Switch box, switch box, here we go. We're gonna. Slap that in right there. Uh, we're gonna turn on the clutch with that switch box. There we go. Uh, we're also gonna need a constant number. We're gonna put that there. This is gonna be a one value. This is just to turn things on. Uh, so that's gonna go straight to the fuel pump. Uh, so this is just so we don't have to have a constant number sitting next to our actual block. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Uh, just so when the clutch is turned on, the clutch turns on here. And that makes things so nice and so simple. And that is it. That is all we need for this microcontroller to get this thing started. So let's go ahead and save this up. We're gonna get this actually back onto the engine that we just built and let's crank it up and see how it goes. All right, so I've got our microcontroller here. Let's bring it up underneath here. I think nice and neat. Uh, we can go right, look at that. That looks so nice, so clean. This is a 12 cylinder, you guys. This is about the same size as our vanilla medium engine, but it's gonna put out probably twice the power. Uh, make sure we've got everything hooked up here. Air, exhaust, coolant. I think we've got everything. Let's go ahead and um, we're going to put a generator on here. Uh, just so this thing has a little bit of actual something to fight against here. And we're going to need a throttle as well. Okay, we're going to need a throttle as well. Where did my build go? There it is. It's upside down. Um, so where are we going to slap this throttle? I guess maybe for now, we're gonna stick it right here on the side. Uh, we're gonna need a starter, starter, push toggle, push, push button. Uh, this is gonna be our starter. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna get a toggle and this is gonna be for our clutch. All right, let's label these. We're gonna get a starter, starter, clutch, and throttle. All right, so we got throttle. Coming into our throttle on our controller here. Uh, let's get up underneath it here. Our, our starter is going to go to our starter. Our clutch is going to come back into our modular engine here. And now all we got to do is hook up the rest of this stuff. So we got our fuel pump, the fuel pump and alternator. So now those will turn on when the engine turns on. Uh, we're going to put air to our air. Uh, fuel goes to. Ah, see, I, we did forget something. Modular, we need the fuel. Fuel, 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 fuel. It looks like this. Where is it? Where is it? It's hiding behind here. There it is, fuel. 
the fuel goes right here. There we go. Uh, we can take a tank. For the purpose of this, we're just going to use a tiny tank. There we go. Perfect. Uh, it is on diesel already. We are good to go. So where were we? Clutch goes to clutch. Fuel goes to fuel. And is that everything hooked up? That is everything hooked up. Now we can actually try and start this thing. Uh, before we do, I actually want to build a like crane system to hold this. So let me do that. And then we're going to actually crank this thing up. All right, so I've got a couple anchor points on here. Let's go ahead and build this up a little bit. Uh, let's get ourselves a pivot. Piv, pivot, pivot, pivot. Now what I'm doing right now is not necessary. This is just for my own personal preferences. Uh, but I figured you guys might actually like to do something like this. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab this. Bring that down like that. Uh, okay, we'll do something like that. And we'll grab the same piece and we'll come back under. Nope, let's come back under. Like so. Uh, okay, then we'll come under here. Go a couple blocks that way, a couple blocks this way. All right, that looks good. Uh, now we need to come out this way. Some, one, two, three. One, two, three. We'll do one more. Safety. We'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, now let's come in here. We'll do a couple blocks there. Let's get ourselves a piston. Something like that. That works. That works for me. We'll come across there like that. And there we go. Now we have ourselves an engine lift. We can do that. We can come in here and hook this thing up. And hopefully that'll hang nice. Uh, we are going to, I'm going to move it up just so it doesn't, uh, sag the ground here. Get everything, everything. We need all the things. Okay, cut that. Uh, let's move this up quite a bit. Oh no. Oh no, why didn't that not go? Clear. Get all the things. Oh, why is it not? Where did the engine go? No. There we go. All right, do we have all the things? We have all the things. So let's cut it. We're going to move it up, paste it. Now we got to merge a bunch of stuff back together, I think. No? Well, all right, there we go. All right, so let's do a quick little paint job and then we're gonna get this thing cranked up. All right, spawned it in. I like that. I like that, guys. That looks really cool. And of course the red, the red engine, who, who doesn't like that? Uh, let's get this thing started and see how this works. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Guys, we gotta have power on it. We gotta hook up this power. Uh, simple enough, let's come to our battery. Everything gets power, everything gets power. Let's try that again. Are you ready to work this time, engine? All right, let's give it a little bit of throttle. Oh. All right, there we go. Uh, it is roaring. All right, so it is working. Uh, so let's come in here. Uh, we're gonna need to get rid of this generator. Uh, let's put ourselves a gearbox in here. Uh, this would be the next step. Gearbox, uh, gear. Gearbox, there we go, gearbox. Uh, for this purpose, we're gonna slap it towards the engine. Uh, we're just gonna get that speed out of it, Gen. Put our generator back on here, perfect. Power back up, power, power. And this is where everything is still good and hooked up. Okay, our clutch is hooked up, that. Uh, let's give this a three to one, and let's try this out again if we've made a, uh, a decent generator here. Uh, a little bit of gas. Come on, stop, stop wiggling on me. And there we go. That is a functioning modular engine, you guys. 12 cylinder, easy peasy, nothing fancy. Just some simple division here on our blocks and we are good to go. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you hanging out and learning something with me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you throw a like on it. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, uh, more videos like this to come soon.